I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will see the relation between slope of the line and first difference. I have written three different equations of line in slope and intercept form. First one is y equals to 2x then we have y equals to minus x plus 1 and then we have y equals to half x plus 2. Now slope of the first line here is 2 m value right in the second line slope is minus 1 and slope in the third line is half you can read directly from the equation given in slope intercept form now we will check what is the first difference for these lines to find the first difference we'll actually consider a few points on the line so we'll make table of values for input and output where input is the independent variable x and the output is dependent variable y. Now, in most of the cases, best points to consider for a line are minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1 and 2. These five are good points to consider. So, we'll take these points for the first two examples, right? Minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1 and 2. Now here, the equation is half of x. Now if I take x as 1, I land up in fractions, just to avoid those fractions, right? What I'm taking values as is, I'm multiplying these values by 2, so that we do not land up with fractions. So we are taking x as even numbers, to be very precise. So let me take these values as minus 4, minus 2, 0, 2 and 4 okay so these are the points and I hope you understand the reason the reason is simpler calculations correct now let's calculate the y value y value here will be 2 times x twice input right so y values will be minus 4 minus 2 0 2 and 4 twice the input in this case y value will be negative of x plus 1. So negative of negative 2 will be positive 2. Positive 2 plus 1 will be 3. Negative of negative 1 will be plus 1 and 1 plus 1 is going to be 2. You'll find that this is decreasing by 1 since the slope is minus 1. Anyway, 0 plus 1 is 1. Minus 1 plus 1 is 0. Minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1. In this particular case, if I substitute minus 4 for x, we get minus 4. Let me show the calculations, okay? Half times minus 4 plus 2, right? So minus 4 divided by 2 gives us minus 2. Minus 2 plus 2 is 0. With minus 2, we get 1. With a negative sign, minus 1 plus 2 will be 1. If I substitute 0, I get 2. That is indeed the y-intercept. For 2, it will be 1 plus 2 as 3. And for 4, 2 plus 2 as 4. So we get the y-values. Now let us see how to find the first difference. First difference is the difference between the consecutive terms like this. So first difference, we also designate first difference by letter delta, delta y, change in independent value of the equation, independent value is y. So we normally write this as y2 minus y1. So the next value, take away the previous value. That is what first difference is. So in the first case, minus 2 minus 4 is going to be my first difference. Let me write this as minus 2 minus of minus 4. That becomes like this, right? So minus and minus becomes plus. So this is equal to 2, correct? Now here for the second one, what is the first difference? First difference is 0 take away minus 2. So it is 0 take away minus 2 and that is also equals to 2. Now with 0 and 2, the difference is 2 minus 0, which is 2. And then for 4 and 2, the difference is again 4 minus 2. 
and that is also 2. So you find that for each one of them, the first difference, which I'm writing as delta 1, is equal to 2, right? So first difference here is equal to, let me say, delta y is equals to 2 for all of them. And what you also know is the slope m is equals to 2 also, right? So what we notice here is that the first difference and slope are always equal. Especially, we have done one example, so we can say at least for that one. Let us again find the first difference for the other two examples. So that is my first difference. Change in the value of y with change in the x values, right? So it is a change in value of y for each for a unit change in x. So y is our independent variable. Our x's are independent variable and we are seeing how y changes with each change in x. So in this case it is going to be 2 minus 3, right? So 2 minus 3 will give us minus 1. Here we have 1 minus 2, right? So we have 1 minus 2, which is again minus 1. Same as the slope. Do you see that? Minus 1, right? So for the other two also, we find that it is 0 minus 1, which is minus 1, and minus 1 minus 0, which is also minus 1. So in this case, the first difference is minus 1, and it is equal to slope of minus 1. Do you get it? Okay, now let's look into the example which we have right here. Now here, what you will notice is that what is the slope? We have a slope m as equals to half, right? Now, I had taken the values which were, which are actually having difference of 2. To get the first difference and compare it with the slope, we normally take consecutive values, so we are not dividing by change in x. Do you see that? So change in the value of y for a unit change, unit change in x. But in this case, the change is by two numbers in x. Correct? So in this case, if you really want to relate the first difference with the slope, you should divide by the value of change in x also, because what we are looking for is kind of, delta y over delta x, right? And as you know, delta y change in y over change in x is actually equals to slope. And so, it is not surprising to find that first difference in a line is equal to slope of the line when the change in x is unit, right? So in this case, to find the first difference, what we are going to do is we are going to write change in y over change of x to compare. So in this case, let's take the first one, 1 minus 0. So I'm writing here 1 minus 0. That is the change in y, right? 1 minus 0 divided by change in x minus 2 minus of minus 4. Is that okay? So 1 minus 0 is 1 and minus 2 minus of minus 4 makes it minus 2 plus 4 and that is 2. So you'll find this first difference is exactly same as that of the slope, right? So you can continue with this calculations and calculate. So let me just end this video by taking the second uh, group, which is 3, 2 and 2, 0. So in this case, the change will be 3 take away 2, that is change in y, divided by change in x, 2 minus 0, 2 minus 0, and that is 1 over 2. So half again, correct? So we get the first difference as same as the slope. For convenience, we had taken the values of x which were like twice, what difference of 2. But normally, when we are calculating first difference, we have x values as difference of 1. In that case, we do not have to divide by change in x since it is always 1. I hope you appreciate that part, right? So in general, what we have here is 
that the first difference is always equal to slope when the change in x is unit. So for a unit change in x, the first difference is equal to slope. So that is what we conclude from this particular video. I am Anil Kumar and I hope this helps you to understand the relation between the two. Thank you and all the best.